It's a real privilege to stand here today before all of you and welcome you to South Africa and to our annual Open Chromium Conference. Uh, we have more than 260 registered delegates from all over the world. The origin of the ICDA was uh, conceived here in South Africa in 1984 by the ferrochrome industry. It is a unique organization in that it caters for the full value chain of the chromium industry and service providers to the industry. Um, we are in the process of launching what we refer to as the China Sub-Council. And this is headed by one of our uh, key members from the Mintel Group, Jonathan Shu, as the chairman. And ultimately, we're trying to attract more membership and more representation from China, uh, the world's largest stainless steel producer, Mr. Mundo Wafa, uh, who is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Mines and Mining Development in Zimbabwe. And the future of chrome mining is in the developing of the underground operations and the country invites investors in that particular sector. <coughs> While we have moved on empowerment of the small-scale miners, we do appreciate, and it's something that we are looking at as a policy issue going forward, that they may also have limited capacity in terms of capitalization. And now there are two things that we are, want to mention there. One, we acknowledge that they may be not be able to go into underground mining to that extent, but also to indicate that they are open for partnerships. There is need for agglomeration technology that can process fines and concentrates, and we believe that without the interventions, the, cross, the chrome sector may not give us as much value as we want. The core um, economic activity and driver of this economy coming from the, from the mining sector. So it's always been a very important part of, of what drove the South African economy. There is huge potential um, still in our uh, earth. Um, it's a case of unlocking it and, and incentivizing it to, be, to be, uh, come, come to value.